These are images from an anti-Islamic protest from February with signs criticizing the faith and some say inciting hate. An upcoming protest with a similar message is at the center of a major social media backtrack. Now, a new protest is being held and planned for Sunday, but it won't be held here at this mosque at all. Instead, it will be held online. And word of that protest was being spread through a paid advertisement. And the company who accepted cash to advertise this is Facebook. Oh, when I opened Facebook, it was right there, front and center. I'm spreading all of its hateful language and messages. The ad is for an event being dubbed Islamophobia Day, encouraging people to post anti-Islam material online on April 23rd. It states, we want our message to be clear. If Islamophobia means we can't criticize Islam as a belief system, then we want to show that we can and we will. Facebook group Labrazo shared the sponsored post about Islamophobia Day in protest of M103, the motion passed by the House of Commons a month ago to condemn Islamophobia. But critics of the motion argue it strips their right to free speech. Several Facebook users reported the post to the company. I contacted them and said, you know, here's a, here's a post. I haven't heard back yet. But other users did, and they say the response they received was not what they expected. Here are their posts, indicating that Facebook looked over the event that was reported, but determined it didn't go against its community standards. Several Toronto residents reported the ad to Facebook, including David. To allow a post to get posted in the first place is somewhat understandable because they have millions of ads. Uh, but to go a step further and then not take it down when it's brought to their, their attention uh, makes them, I think, in my mind, complicit in the spread of the hate language. Facebook says all ads go through a review and approval process before being posted and ads that discriminate will be rejected. They admit this one fell through the cracks. After City News contacted Facebook, the social media giant dropped the ad today saying, we're very sorry about this mistake. This ad violated our ad policies and was removed as soon as we were able to investigate. Our team reviews millions of advertisements each week and we sometimes make mistakes. So it is troubling, but uh, I guess we would be satisfied with the fact that Facebook has taken it down. Safwan Chowdhury of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Group calls the post disturbing and says it's frightening when fear mongering is considered free speech. So I think where the lines get drawn is anything that divides people, that creates fear, should be considered and, and, and strongly condemned. Um, and, and is borderline hatred. But free speech laws state you're allowed to criticize a religion based on fact. Where those aspects are based on stereotypes and are based on ignorance, then that's where you'll see that it crosses the line from freedom of speech and could potentially result in hate speech. Now, we did reach out to the uh, group on Facebook who posted that ad online to see whether or not they had comment about the ad now being taken down. So far, we haven't received a response.